All right. Hey guys, so the other message that I have. <laughs> just did a nice meditation. I'm just gonna sit near the water. I'm gonna get a little bit deep and emotional. <laughs> Depending. Listen, um, the message is we accept what we think we deserve. Remember this. And this, you gotta sit down, reflect, because Holy Spirit wants, is teaching us uh, a lesson right now about what do you think you deserve? You have to ask yourself these questions. And I feel like this is specifically for people who settle for less. You settle for an abusive, toxic relationship. You settle for a job that is not fulfilling. You settle for being in a group uh, of people because you get some type of recognition or something, or you get some type of cloud, or you settle for being in a toxic, abusive relationship, uh, family relationship dynamic. Uh, you accept, settle. This is like something. It could be with a sibling, it could be with uh, another parental figure, it could be an aunt or father, mother, whatever. We accept what we think we deserve. So he kept saying that, like, let's process that, let's assess that right now. Because you really have to understand that some people come into our life just so that we can learn lessons okay sometimes they will stay you know sometimes they don't or they're not supposed to sometimes we get too codependent we get too comfortable with you know staying in situations that we know is not healthy for ourselves you know so for a lot of you our homework during this eclipse season not only making a list make a list make yourself uh something easy for you to do this type of work because this is deep work right go ground yourself do some meditation in the water sending you good healings from gaia because she's also cleansing my <laughs> my deck cards okay but i'm already feeling the energy of the decks to be cleansed and uh, we put with the right energy where the energy where i'm supposed to be at so back to is like the same thing with oh my god look at that feather there you go angels go angels go go <laughs> or holy spirit whoever that message that's a message for sure um you have to understand that even the two how um consciously whatever you watch too whatever like you know that too is like if you have tower readers or oracle readers or people who doesn't every time you watch their content doesn't make you feel good and stuff like that or it makes you feel some type of way like i understand like a lot of you is like sometimes they won't be that good you know because the truth especially when i live in a world like this the truth could hurt right the truth can not only hurt but also could be liberating okay but let's say some of the content some of the thing it's not really that fulfilling or it's something like very repetitive or you know just consume things consciously that's what he's saying too like do you think you deserve to be watching tower readings all that like this is for some people who cannot like you're kind of obsessed yeah that's what the, some of us like even if we're in a tower community and we do tarot we also have a break we have a period where not only we're not constantly popping messages but also like watching whatever we're watching you know that's why a lot of us we don't watch news anymore we're guided to not to do that because that's also a lot of distorted energy sometimes especially if you're an activist you have to watch certain programs or certain people or something community something activist community that it's okay like you know the most high guide you to do but a lot of you who are really sensitive right now highly intuitive empath your intuition is heightened right now you're also going to a much much deeper healing as well that not necessarily you know you just you working behind the scenes right and that too is that something that you know you have to be consciously about like do i deserve to be looking at this specific news media thing right now or all the time especially when it makes me feel like crap or it makes me feel like shit and stuff 
um but not only that sometimes that too like there's a lesson there too like whatever makes you feel some type of way is like it can you do something about it like reflect be the absorber of your own self or your own passion got a little square here <laughs> um yeah just be the absorber of your own thing like you deserve to be doing that watching that can you help with that can you fix that can you pray for that can you you know if you can then beautiful don't internalize it if it's negative contribute do something that you could do in a positive way that you can help out and that's it you know okay same thing with the tower readers not all the messages are for you that's what we say take what resonates and what doesn't sometimes some of you stay watching those readings even though it has nothing to do with you but you know that there's lessons little piece and pieces that they could be for you that you're learning so that's beautiful some of you are learning that spiritual discernment through that even if it's not your message like okay there's some lesson maybe that i could learn that maybe it's gonna happen for me in the future or maybe it has happened already that let me see if i'm going in the right path so a lot of you have able to discern and that too is like your consumption of anything right now is with discernment right with uh green or salt or I don't really like to say that but you know you know how to take what resonates and one leave what doesn't which is beautiful but also that too is like you're able to say well my energy could help this person who's giving this message so I'm gonna like comment or share or whatever or subscribe you know because this person is giving me good energy it's healing it's a you know a lot of you you have a specific people that right now you follow you subscribe and stuff like that and um and it makes you feel good and that's why you're because they're able to you know it's a um, beautiful energy transfer that you guys do that so that's why you say well this person deserves a good vibe for my energy because they have given me good vibes you know so it's like a reciprocity that you built with other people with yourself and other stuff like that so what that's what he's saying is like you accept what you think you deserve so right now what do you think you deserve do you think you deserve good things think you deserve things that make you feel good and happy unconditional love that is not abusive or coercive or manipulative you know what i'm saying why do you deserve that right now you can live in this existence right now living in the moment that is for you and then what does it make the little list write it down sit down have a little journal i would definitely suggest a lot of you during this eclipse season until like november or something like that journal journal unlock unlock see i don't i was gonna say unlock but it says unblock but a lot of you the most high is unblocking and opening those gifts and talents that you have through writing as for my writer artist content creators in this community you know who you are let go of the syndrome that it's not for you it's not doesn't give you any service and also that too you're blocking the most high from getting his glory through you mm -hmm. another thing he's showing me as well that i felt that in the metro when i was in the metro and the bus sometimes god wants you to do this healing it's not just for you Because when you feel good, when you're healthy, when you feel good inside, when you're happy inside, when you're, you know, wherever you go, you radiate this healing energy. So you never know that just by your presence next to someone in the bus, next to someone at work, next to someone or anything, if this person has some type of demon or something like that, you can, without even yourself consciously about it, unconsciously, your spirit, because it's so healed and it's so... This girl does not want to leave this part. Yeah, she does not want to leave. <laughs> no, she does not want to leave. Okay, yeah. How interesting! I'm just talking about that, and this girl is just throwing rocks. And anyway, I don't want to show her face, but the parents trying to take her out, and she doesn't want. To. See, 
that's a lot of anger. And a little tiny child. But you see, she needs to put it out. So she's taking the rocks and throw it in the water. Somehow it's making her feel good. You see, everybody has different ways of how to cope with things. But what I was saying, which is interesting, that's happening. Think of it that way. When you do good things for yourself, you fill up your own cup, you heal yourself, you know what you deserve. You do things that you know what you deserve. You're your first friend. You're your first soulmate. Twin flame, whatever you want to call it. Although twin flame, that's a different situation altogether. But you're your own higher self soulmate first. You know your worth. You take care of yourself before you there for other people, right? When you do that, and that's who you connect with the most high. So you already, he's already filling you with like beautiful divinity, grace, and healing energy. That it's just, you have it for the whole day. That's another thing, guys. When I tell you guys to pray in the morning, you literally have like the Holy Spirit all over, all day, all, you know. And even when you pray, like not just anytime, you know. But when you encounter some of the people, you never know you could be someone's like literally guide or helper or something like that. You never know that person needed that energy at that moment. Sorry, my angels are all over here. But that's what I'm saying. See? She left on her own. On her own. She's walking on her own. She's like, no, oh, that's it. But I needed to. Yeah. Man. I feel kids sometimes because. When parents don't heal, they they don't let pee kids be, you know? Yeah, you get disciplined, of course. Soul discipline and disciplining them in a conscious and healthier way, not abusive, not, you know what I'm saying? It's healthy for them, you know? It's love, you know? But when you don't discipline your kids, oof, I don't know, I don't know. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You're here to help them. You're their guide, their support, their protector, but also like, you know, I meant to stop them or block their blessing, you know? Some of your parents that are not healed, you're jealous of your kids and stuff like that, and you try to, no, man, we're none of that. We're not none of that. We have to let go of control, of that controlling, uh, manipulative, oppressive. Yeah, no, let go of that. This is why a lot of your parents who are not healing, you get rowdy about that. I don't, I don't know about you. What I'm saying is that, like, remember... But that too, it's like when you're in an empathy high vibration, you understand what I'm trying to say. So if you're not there yet, this message is going to trigger the shit out of you. Heal her. She's so cute. Yeah, she's in the... Oh, there she is. Oh, she's in the spectrum. Yeah, anyways, she's definitely in the spectrum. But uh, anyways, it doesn't matter. Kids are kids, you know, and I find those kids are more highly in tune with Yeah, so that's you guys. Don't judge, but some parents do have kids of, you know, they're completely, you know, they're different. But not in that sense. It's just they don't operate like normal kids, you know. They live in another dimension, I find, in another world. Trying to live in a world like this, they don't really understand them, you know. So always have compassion and understanding, okay. But yeah, empathy is also a process, you know, to build. But it starts with that, absolutely. It's, it's, it's acknowledging and reflecting, oh, what is it that you accepting that you think you deserve, okay? And if you know that you deserve better, that you're worth more, that you're good enough, that you don't need to prove to anybody anything or need to seek that validation from anybody, then a lot of you must feel, we're gonna feel a little bit lonely because you know, some of you stay, stick around to fake people, fake things that didn't really help you reflect on what you really deserve, okay? Especially if, like, these people were expecting for you to act or do certain things because it pleases them, but it doesn't help you. 
uh, and then when you start operating on your own um, on your self-love self-care creating boundaries and stuff like that and then they don't like it this is how you know like they were never they were never meant to be in the journey that you're going okay especially self-love self-care being a good person and a word like this is an act of rebellion okay and I don't think for a second that it's gonna be easy okay but as long as you see back being calladita you know stay quiet you know what i'm saying do what you gotta do do it in a nice way you don't have to be rowdy and stuff like that you don't have to lower yourself to them to their level but make sure that you're standing up for yourself okay make sure that you're looking at looking at that list that you're gonna make during this time this is what i deserve this is what i don't deserve and then act on that and have faith that too like if those things that you're not there yet that you wish you were but you're in that list of I, what i don't deserve and you see you feel like you're in that list work on those things and it's a process not a marathon okay so just remember that everything is a process some people that's why don't use don't compare yourself to other people's journey other people's healing this is an endless thing and everybody is in different station different uh different step because it's like a step you know you can't skip the steps okay some people might be a little bit higher than you in the step but they did all that work that you still have to do there's nothing wrong with that and that too you can hold those people accountable even if you're here and they're here and they're like pointing at people pointing at yeah call them out like excuse me we're all the same here yes you're allowed and then those people need to humble themselves they shouldn't be uh feeling that they're feeling better or they're better than everybody else because they're on the top like what the fuck that's the that's the colonial hierarchy bullshit that we need to cut it off you know what i'm saying that's it okay a lot of us we in terms of spiritually and like experience yes some of us have evolved differently but it doesn't mean that we're better okay it just means that we have evolved we have passed those lessons and now we're you know we're meant to be helping others um deal with those lessons too okay but in a humble way in a good way you know what i'm saying like there's conscious healthier ways to do this okay <sighs> that's what i have for you okay i hope this helped you make sure you're journaling um yeah just write it down this experience that you're going through your healing journey okay um i don't know there's something that i feel like you're gonna find within yourself because a lot of us have a lot of diamonds inside okay yes you gotta take the mud take all the things you know dig deep inside and that too is that type of work it's meant between you and the most oh, another ladybug oh my god today is ladybug day <laughs> oh my god it's coming ah! <laughs> that is so cute okay today's ladybug uh, message day <laughs> there is something that you're gonna find within yourself that you can only find it when you're okay with being by yourself solitude yes it's good to help have help be with people but certain things like this like deep within like who am i what do i deserve what do i want what am i here for what's my mission it's between you and the most high because if you let if you let other people external opinions or you're surrounded by people who already have their own ways of you know seeing themselves or seeing you or whatever especially those people who have no life that they're constantly telling you what to do but they're not doing shit yeah those people oh my god please they don't grow and they won't let you grow okay you know who those people are your spirits already t i think like your spirits already been fighting these people without you knowing unconsciously that's why you feel drained and tired around these people and you can like like you always have to constantly control yourself like you know who those people are stay away <laughs> especially when you're in this transformation expansion period and like going within and knowing what you really want to do in this life and how you want to be fulfilled and happy and at peace and having what you deserve you can't do this with a bunch of people you got to be in that hermit energy mode okay that's what i wanted to say about that 
I love you guys. I hope this message helped you. Share it if you feel like sharing it. I pray that it reaches the right person, the right people, especially people who are healing, the people pleasing and detaching for narcissistic abuses and stuff like that. You know who you are. I hope this reach you and reach other people as well, that you're good enough, you deserve better. Write whatever you need to put in that list that you know that you deserve and what you accept and what you don't accept. And if you're not there yet and you have more than you don't accept, that's okay. Have some grace, forgive yourself, okay? And that's it. The more you go into that list that you deserve and you are acting on that list, the more you're getting back your divinity, the more you're being graceful, the more you're being humble, the more you're being more empathetic. Not only to yourself, but to others and the freaking planet, okay? So, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Here, have some uh, energy. Uh, lots of birds. Mmm, yes. Suck it in, suck it in. Mmm, yes. Suck it in. I love you. See you next video. Woo! Peace.